In this problem, we're going to try to simplify the square root of 75. So when you see a problem like this, the first thing you want to think about is how can you factor 75 in a way so that one of the factors, at least, when you, when you take the square root of that factor, you get a whole number. And you want the biggest factor for which that's true. So 75, I'm thinking the easiest way to factor it, at least in my mind, is 25 times 3. So let's go ahead and try that. 25 times 3. Right, that's going to be 75. And that'll actually work because if we take the square root of 25, we'll get 5, right? So it's called a perfect square. 25 is called a perfect square because when you take the square root of it, you get a nice whole number. So let's go ahead and come over here and then replace the 75 with, with what we have over here. So this will be the square root of. So instead of 75, we'll just write 25 times 3. So 25 times 3, just like that. Okay. So now we can break it up into two pieces, right? So this is the square root of 25 times, you can do that when it's times, and they're both um, uh, non-negative, or at least one of them is non-negative, three. If they're both positive, it's good. <laughs> so uh, the square root of 25 is five, and then here you get three. And that's it, right? So um, you just try to, to factor it, and try to factor it in a way that allows you to get what's called the perfect square. So when you take the square root of this number, you get a whole number, and then you're good to go. So I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.